Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to all the Awakening Challenge guides for all the characters in Fortnite Battle Royale Chapter 2 Season 4. Shout out to Visions for sending me the footage for this. He's an awesome guy. Go and check him out. His app is down below over on his channel. He produces some awesome content. So thank you for sending me all of these clips, Visions. All right, so first one, coming in with Thor's Challenge. All you've got to do is simply head on over to the actual spot where Thor first landed, the Bifrost Marks. And once you're over here, you will be pretty much set on this challenge so yeah go and visit them and that's your first part for the four challenge this is the location it's just outside of whaling woods if you didn't already know where it was and all you got to do is land in and you've got a tick for that challenge okay so part two for thor's challenge this one actually requires you to go and land over at thor's hammer all you got to do is pick it up and that's an easy way of completing this one it's not too hard at all very simple to do come in over here go to his hammer spot pick it up and you set on that then you claim access to this now once you've got this you then need to on part three go and do some damage for it this is actually outside of salty springs head over here go and pick it up and you'll get that which is nicely done then you need to deal damage with the hammer for the next challenge so it's quite obvious to do this because it's very very simple and i know a lot of people probably a little bit struggling with it but simply knock someone and use your hammer when they're not and that will get the damage pretty quickly on it so that's probably my best tip for this in my opinion so give that a shot guys if you're not already subscribed though guys smash that subscribe right now roughly 80 percent of you guys Guys on the channel aren't subscribed anyway moving in to thor's fourth challenge which isn't too difficult at all so the spot for this one is going to be on top of the mountain outside of misty meadows you'll see it just as i'm diving in right here it's very easy to get access to you can see it. i'm marking it here it's right outside of misty and just pop on into this location activate your hammer or your glide or whatever glider you've got and just glide on in nicely and then when you're up here this is where you can claim access to his awakening challenge the final part for Thor's challenge. You'll see me land or vision, should I say. I'm gonna probably keep referring it to him as myself because I'm just so used to it, but thanks vision for the footage. And all you've got to do is simply emote up here and you'll gain access to, to Thor's awakening challenge. Coming in with Hulk or She-Hulk. Now let's jump onto her challenges. So the first challenge you're gonna have to do with She-Hulk is simply unlock her at Battle Pass tier nine, sorry, 29 and visit Jennifer Walters office. So this one's a easy spot it's over by Retail Row. We already showed it off in one of my map change videos. If you're not tuned into my map change series, have a look at it every week or every day there is a map change. I'll post them on the channel. I cover your map changes every single day for you across the entire Fortnite Battle Royale Island as they change. So yeah. Stay tuned for that if you're interested in that sort of stuff. But as I dive into retail, you can see her house right here. This is the spot of it, this kind of whitish house. I think it's a new location. I don't think this used to be in retail in this spot anyway. And you can see, there you have it. Pop in here and you've got part one of her challenges done there. Now part two actually requires you to eliminate Dr. Doom's henchmen. Now she must be related to Dr. Doom in the law somehow. Simply land in at Pleasant and you will gain access to the henchmen. It's very easy to do. Find a weapon, take them out pretty simple right just eliminate the henchman and you're pretty much set guys do not worry about it at all same with challenge number three this one's quite easy as well as moat as jennifer when destroying a vase so you know all you gotta do is emote with her after destroying a vase and there's three spots on the map with these vases the most advised spot to go to is either the one at camp card or the one on the west side of the map by i think it's holly hedges it's near so yeah either by holly hedges or over by here which is at camp cod which is probably the number one spot in my opinion to do this so you've got to land in here find some vases destroy some vases and just simply um uh, do an emote with her and i'll show you guys exactly that right here so landing in with jennifer takes a little bit of time to glide down obviously you guys can uh walk this way you could travel with a boat helicopter whatever you want to do you could probably do all these challenges in one game if you're quick enough possibly and you can see yeah here it is go in here smash this vase and do an emote and there you have it you've done jennifer's awakening challenges and unlock she hulk so nicely done there if you're interested in getting access to that skin groot so he's got again three challenges simply to do you've got a landing over here which is on the west side of the map you pop in here and this is where you place groot's sapling for this kind of tree right here so yeah that's kind of nice Nice. Then once you've done that, you can go over to part two. It's an easy one as well because this one is just kind of down the way. It's not that far at all from this location. And you've got to go over to the actual pipe man and hay man and plant another seed there. I kind of really like this one. I think it's a uh, really, really cool 
like thing to actually do like, you don't really expect this at all so <laughs> i think it's cool you know seeing these two and actually visiting them for once like it's a really cool easter egg as well for those that have seen the map changes you'll know so yeah the spot for this one is just outside of sweaty sands up there by the coral chorus people and i think it's just so cool to see these back Heyman's traveled a long way hasn't he and then with pipe man there as well two really iconic characters from this chapter meeting up and you can go and visit them with this challenge and it's part of the challenge as well so i don't think these will change for the map change fans out there who are watching this i don't think these will move at all but if they do i'll keep you covered i don't think they will though because they're part of a challenge but yeah you can pop on it over to here and do your little uh little what you need to do with the quest oh and yeah you get the emote for uh group which is part of the awakening set and then groups battling so this one is a little bit more difficult to claim but i think you probably will be able to do and you've simply got to rescue him from holly hedges now he's been taken over by the gnomes and i'll show you guys exactly how to do that now in this clip so dive into holly hedges it's not very difficult i think most of us will know where that is and it's actually in the center of holly hedges right in where the gnomes are and you'll spot it as you dive in here so visit this section and group is a little bit difficult to spot but I've got him right here in this clip here. So dive into Holly Hedges. And yeah, where the marker is, right in the middle, in between the two stores, is where you'll actually find Groot. So you've got the main store there and the little house here in between there, like the garden of the store. And you'll find Groot in between three plants in the center there. So I'm popping in here and then Groot should just be right in there. You can see him just in there and popping in here and then rescue him. And you get him as a bat bling. So welcome, baby Groot. How awesome is that? Okay, so coming in next, we have our classic storm now she is very easy the first challenge is what you need to do is head on over to a radio tower and that's over at this section down here again outside of misty near catty corner come and pop in over here dive in and this will be your first quest for storm herself now once you've done that or gale you can go over and actually ride the steamy stacks in the storm as storm now this one is a little bit more difficult so let's switch on over to there and show you how we have to do this one so you have to wait until the storm comes and you can be waiting up to five minutes ten minutes i actually on this game here waited five minutes in total for us to jump into the storm so a huge amount of time but once you've got the storm here simply hop in to the steamy area go up into one of the funnels go straight up and you will complete this challenge Quite simple, but very frustrating having to wait a decent amount of time to get it complete. Now, you've got step three to unlock the Gale built-in emote. This one is very simple. All you've got to do is emote at the center of a storm. Now, we'll switch over to that. And the best tip I have for this upcoming one is to log in and head on to Team Rumble. So here we go. We're on Team Rumble and sit in the bus, wait in the bus, and wait for the circle to form. So pop out, there you go, you can see the circle's formed over there, we've got a perfect timing of it, and mark the centre of the circle and head straight towards that. Once you've done this, you will have completed the challenge and you'll see a little mark and you've just got a remote on that mark. So I'll show you guys exactly what it looks like so you know how to do it. But it's very simple and to be honest, I think she's probably the easiest out of them all because you don't have to get any eliminations, you don't have to get any victories or anything like that. And we'll explain the next one coming in with Doctor Doom. A little bit more complicated to be honest in my opinion. So yeah, go to the center here and you will have completed Storm Challenge right there. So yeah, really nice, really easy to do and you will have her unlocked and her special emote is pretty cool. So yeah, get it while you can. Obviously season four, awesome battle pass. All right, Doctor Doom guys. This one is a little bit more difficult. First, you've got to visit Doctor Doom's statue as Doctor Doom. This is based where Pleasant Park used to be over at Doom's Domain. You can come and pop in here. His statue is quite obvious and I think anybody will know where this is because you can see it. It's right in the center. But this isn't the most difficult one. This is probably one of the easier ones out of them all. The next one as well is visit a giant throne as Doctor Doom. Again, this one is pretty easy as well. You just got to go over to a giant throne, which isn't actually in Doctor Doom's house. It's actually just outside of Retail Row. So head over towards Retail Row and you'll see on the back side of Retail where I'm diving to right now, you'll actually see a decently sized throne, looks a bit stone-like, and just go over here and visit it and you'll get the challenge done. I'm diving into it and you'll see exactly what it looks like in the exact spot. So just over the water tower, that direction by this mountain, you'll see a few trees by it and then here is the giant throne area. So come in here and land here. It's made out of stones and a few rocks and trees and you've got the challenge done right there. So once you've done that, 
you're on to the third one. This is probably the most difficult one, and this actually requires you to emote as Doctor Doom during a victory royale. Luckily though, we've got Team Rumble. So we can pop on into Team Rumble and get the victory royale at the end. 50-50 chance usually to win in Team Rumble. And yeah, when you win, use Dr. Doom's emote and you'll get his chair emote. Now in my opinion, this is the most useless one out of the lot because I generally think you don't really need a victory royale throne emote unless you're playing as Doctor Doom and the chances of actually playing as Doctor Doom and winning at the same time unless you're a pro is pretty rare. Okay, so the first challenge for Mystique is coming in at a phone booth. So land over a phone at a phone booth, go into it as Mystique and transform into one of the disguised outfits. This is very simple, quite annoying at the minute because there's only one place on the map with these phone booths and that's currently at Doom's domain. However, in a few weeks or so, depending on when you're watching this video, you'll find that there are extra phone booths in different spots over the map. So yeah, right now we've only got the one over at Doom's domain, but you know, if you've got a different spot elsewhere, feel free to land in there. But it's quite key because you're going to need to deal damage with different rarity pistols as Mystique. You gotta deal with all three. This again is a difficult challenge. This is the next challenge after the phone booth one. I'll give you guys a little guide on that in a second on how you can manage to do that hopefully. So yeah, first challenge, very easy to do. All you gotta do is go to a phone booth. But the next one, getting damage with different pistols can be a little bit frustrating. So I'd recommend going somewhere like Frenzy Farm where the loot is pretty medium. You get a decent amount of loot, not too much, but not too little. And you also get access to a few maybe upgrade benches that spawn, which will be handy with the pistol. And less people land here at the minute because it's kind of just in the middle of nowhere and there isn't really much going on. So yeah, head into Frenzy, use the pistol guys, try and get a few bits of damage off of it. And you usually find a green and a blue pistol in this house. Not always, but I'm sure you will get the opportunity like I did in this footage here. And then if you manage to get the opportunity to upgrade it again at an upgrade bench, that would be perfect. And Team Rumble is another good suggestion for that if you can get a pistol and pick up an upgrade bench on team rumble you'll be able to take the upgrade bench around with you and upgrade your pistol as you go through someone confirmed to me if the upgrade bench is still in the game i'm pretty sure it is yeah it is because it is for one of the iron man challenges but is it in team rumble that's what i mean is it still in team rumble i'm not too sure almost certain it is though i think yeah it is it is i'm almost certain because on the iron man challenges that's why i did it in team rumble so yeah you can also get it in team rumble so you're set there as well get an upgrade on the pistol if you get the opportunity to get it and just keep looting up around here you just never know if you'll find that next pistol which could come in really handy and you can even find the common pistol like here i've just found green rare and common so simply deal a bit of damage with it and you're set try and get a hit off at someone if you can you can see here we're getting the opportunity to get that third shot off with the upgraded or sorry i should say downgraded pistol now we've done it with green we've done it with blue and now we've done it with that one there so all three in one game frenzy farm probably your best spot for it maybe i don't know in my opinion it worked pretty well for us but you never know in the future, it might not work for you. Who knows what could be at Frenzy Farm in a few weeks' time. Maybe Galactus could even be in there. Probably not, but <laughs> you get what I mean. All right, third challenge with Mystique. This one requires you to emote as Mystique after an elimination on an opponent. Probably the easiest one, an opponent. Very easy to do. Simply get an elimination and just emote. You could do this either in Battle Royale or Team Rumble. Feel free to do it. Easy, easy, peasy, lemon squeezy on this one. Yeah, eliminate someone and do the emote. You're going to absolutely love it. And yeah, very easy to do. I'm sure anyone will be able to do it. So yeah, hop into a game. Do it, guys. I'm doing it here over at retail. It's got to get an elimination on someone and you will be able to do it. It's probably one of the most unique things as well because you can transform into someone else's skin. You don't really get the opportunity to do that, but I think it's cool to actually have that opportunity to be able to play as anyone. You'll be able to get a Renegade Raider, technically, if you found one. So here, we will eliminate this Thor, then I'm going to transform into the Thor right now. But now you have it. So, shapeshift into Thor, and yeah, we become Thor, and you unlock the final emote or final ability for Mystique. But if you do get shot at, it does unfortunately disappear. So do consider that with Mystique and that's how you do her challenge right there. Very easy, that last one. Probably the easiest one out of all the challenges, to be honest, we have on here. I'm sure everyone can get an elimination. And finally, the tier 100, Tony Stark, Iron Man himself. All you've got to do with this one is reach speed 88 on a speed meter with the whiplash as Tony Stark for the first step. This one isn't that difficult because you've got to find a car, which 
probably is the hardest part. But once you've found one, you've already got a bunch of fuel in it. And you've just got to get that speed up to 88. Get a nice little boost in. And you should gain that pretty quickly. Probably one of the easiest ones. The hardest part is probably actually finding the vehicle without getting eliminated. You can get it all the way up to 90 this. And if you're on like a slope going downwards as well, you'd be able to get it even faster to that 88 speed. So definitely one of the easier challenges. Now step two with Iron Man requires you to use an upgrade bench as Tony Stark. Again, there are upgrade benches in the game. One of the little tips I've got for you is over at uh, Risky, by here, you will actually already spawn in with mats on Team Rumble. So if you select Team Rumble, go to Risky over here, there's usually an upgrade bench on the side. You can go straight to it and upgrade your weapon almost straight away. You might just need to grab a few mats if you built over like I did there. Then you can go on here and press X to upgrade your weapon and you'll get it done very, very quickly. Good, good advice, good little tip if you're interested in doing anything like that. You are going to get some decent, decent weapons from that and a nice little... Uh, upgrade as well and you can back out the game i think that still works the backing out with the challenges so try it though if it doesn't you can just do it again i don't know i can't guarantee that let me know in the comments guys i'm sure someone will be able to let me know okay final challenge for tony stark emote as tony stark in the stark workshop so the stark workshop as we showed off in my map change video is over by this section on the right side outside of the authority and you'll see it in like kind of like a little barn area this is obviously something related to the event by the way just for any inside information there it's going to be like a huge kind of big field of i guess solar it looked like solar panels but i don't know if they're actually going to be solar panels and stark is working on something but that's why it sends us over here for his challenge but i don't think it'll be until the end of the season because hence why they're sending us here in tier 100 and then most of the people will have tier 100 by about week seven so that's why if you haven't bought all the tiers you're not going to be able to do this but yeah this is it that's where you go. You do the emote inside this barn and you're pretty much set. There's a lot of stuff going on here for the storyline. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do hope you guys did enjoy this little tutorial on all the challenges. If you're interested in sticking around for map change videos, do consider it. And also check out my maps that I've recently built for you guys. The 1v1 and Box Fight Arena. If you're interested in any of them, they're on screen right now. The codes. Don't forget to smash the like, smash the subscribe. I'll see you guys in future content.